Fantastic. Elvis, um, you've had a few opportunities in the last week or two. Um, Rob Baxter was just in here singing your praises. How great is it to be involved in that 23? Oh, it's, it's always a, a great opportunity, you know, to get involved. But in saying that, we 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 are squad as a whole. So whatever we can we can do on our bit is a is a massive um, massive gem. You know, you've you've got competition there in the likes of Luke and Jack Wet Yendel and, and Sean Moulton in there as well. It's it seems a pretty pretty tough place to be that number two show. It is. I mean, like you play the sports for the com competitive um, side of things, and uh, there's no different. You know. Uh, we have a, a good squad uh, and a good few lads in, in my position, and and, uh, and make it extra extra special when when you get out there. You know, you know you'll you'll, you'll get out there and, and do your best for the other boys as well. You've been here a, a couple of seasons now. How has life in Exeter improved you as a rugby player? Uh, massively. I mean, like you just have to go into a change room. If, if you spend a bit of time in a change room. It, improve you as a person massively you know they, the boys will keep keep you grounded for, for a start and uh, yeah yeah it's, it's a good band as well you obviously had a bit of time at the world cup um how was that experience for you obviously you played here but you know generally what, what was that world cup experience in england like My, it's a great experience uh, firstly you're representing your, your country but not only that your family and, and you know your supporters as well uh, to do that uh, it's always, it's, it was always a goal of mine to do that and, and to achieve that. It was, it was awesome. But you, you do what you love and, and it says for itself. Yeah, on that global stage must be incredibly exciting. Oh, very exciting, you know. Um, putting the red jersey was, was something I always dream about and doing the World Cup was extra special. You mentioned the red jersey there. You obviously came to this club from Jersey, also wear red. See the little link we're going on there. Um, you know, how, how important was, was, was that time you had in the championship in, in, in learning a bit about you know, the, the game in England and that sort of thing? I think it's always, always important, like, you know, uh, to, to, to learn different type of rugby. I, I came from Australia. It was totally different from, from uh, over there. Uh, coming here was a step up, even the championship as well, like as, as a forward, it's totally different, you know, you're not just uh, running around the pitch, you have to actually scrum more and, and actually, yeah, do, do your best. So yeah, a, a completely different type of game as you say. You, you come up against the Wasps side this week that have beaten Toulon and they're on a pretty decent run of form at the moment. Um, tell me a bit about how tough a challenge you think Wasps may present you guys. I think it's going to be a very tough challenge, but in saying that, I think we're just going to have to focus on us first uh, before we, we, we look at what they do. Uh, we've done all our, our, our prep now and, and just looking forward to the game and it should be awesome. Good. Fantastic, that's all I need. In terms of, of wasps and that, that, you know the threat they pose right across the board and uh, like you've just mentioned there, Rob has talked about it probably in meetings galore this week and going up there, it's a case of, of really putting your best foot forward. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like you know, like I said before, we we uh, prepare as a squad, not just the 23 on on the, on the pitch, on the, or 15 on the pitch, on Saturday. Uh, if we do get opportunity to get out there, we always do it for the boys that not playing as well, not just the boys on the pitch. Well, you got your opportunity last week against Quinns. When you look back at that game, what a result it was for the Chiefs, and it's kind of underlined how how the strides the club have made over perhaps even the last 12 months, six months. Yeah, massively. I, I think like what you saw on Saturday, even we didn't do as well as we would hope for. I think we we always find a way because of, of the of the strength that we have within the squad. Uh, we do it with the boys in the changing room as well, not just the guys out there on the pitch. And you've talked to me in the past about the, the noise and the support that gets generated here. It's it's something a bit different to a lot of clubs, isn't it? And probably the the last 20 minutes of the game last week was probably some of the noisiest we've heard in a long time here. Very different, and exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy playing in Central Park, especially with a good, good crowd and good supporters. And it does help a little bit, like you know, when you hear, hear all your supporters and loud noises as well. And when you had to dig deep there, which you did in that last sort of five, ten minutes of the game, uh, they're the ones behind you, really. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, we've done a few men in, in the last sort of 20 minutes there, and the boys dig deep, and, and the crowd helps help a lot as well. Brent alluded to it a minute ago, the, the challenge that is there amongst you as hookers, but you're all bringing the best out of each other. You all bring different components to what is the extra Chiefs pack. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, you know, you just have to look at, you know, Gon, Diggy, uh, Yendel, and even Moats as well. 
you know, you just look across and see the names and just speak for itself.